Welcome to Encore for the week of January 15th. Let's get right into the biggest news in mobile games. Now, if you're one of the many people addicted to the mobile game phenomenon that was Flappy Bird, well, you're in luck because this week we found out that its creator, Dong Wen, is brewing up a follow-up to his massively successful and controversial game. For those of you not familiar with Flappy Bird, all you need to know is that the game hit critical mass in early 2014 due to its incredibly simple gameplay and insane difficulty. After about a month or so of widespread popularity, it was removed from all app stores by its developer because of the guilt of what he considered to be its addictive nature and overuse. But even after its removal, we saw a ton of ripoffs on the app stores and it continued to gain popularity. Now, as far as the new game, Dong Wen has teamed up with Japanese studio Obakaitem for his follow-up that is tentatively called N Project. We don't know a lot about what kind of game it is and the only hard info we have so far is this screenshot, which looks in the same art style as Flappy Bird, but doesn't really give us an idea what kind of game it is. Dong Wen and Obakaitem intend to release this game later in 2016. Will it match the success of Flappy Bird? Probably not, but we're still excited to play the final game. Moving on to yet another follow-up to a massively successful franchise, we learned this week that the studio behind Clash of Clans is working on a digital card game called Clash Royale. This game combines elements from collectible card games like Hearthstone and MOBA games like Dota 2 and League of Legends with an arena-style head-to-head format. If you're a fan of Clash of Clans, the game's presentation will feel similar as it's set in the same universe with familiar faces and graphic styles. Style. Clash Royale has already been released in regions like Canada and Hong Kong, which means a US release is just over the horizon. Will we get another Super Bowl commercial starring Liam Neeson? One can only hope. Next up, a game that you can actually play right now. It's the official game for Rick and Morty from Adult Swim Games called Pocket Mortys. It's essentially a Pokemon clone. We don't think there's anything wrong with that. The game is set in the show's multiverse and you play as Rick as he embarks on a quest to collect and train all 70 Mortys. There's Mustache Morty, Wizard Morty, Cronenberg Morty, and many, many more. So if you're a fan of the show, this seems like the perfect companion game to the show's ridiculous humor, and it's available right now for free. So just go, go download it. And finally, we have a new trailer for a sci-fi mobile game called All Is Lost. This is a new side-scrolling runner from Forsaken Media. It looks like it has some action elements in it similar to Shadow Complex. In the game, your mission is to rescue crew members from various space stations around the galaxy. As a player, you're behind a security camera controlling doors and preventing hazards to create a clear path for the escaping crew. All is Lost is targeting an early February release on iOS and Android. And that's all we got for you for this week's edition of Encore. If you're excited for any of the games we talked about, like the Flappy Bird follow-up, Clash Royale, if you're playing the Rick and Morty game, you should comment below and let us know, and uh, we'll see you next time.